think the the question is like, how am I going to take my operation? How like I'm going to make serious investment, make it potentially make it profitable, or at least inject a lot more resources into doing it. So how do I do that? So for those that are um, doing that, and there's different pricing models, and I'm, I'm not an expert on a lot of this, but I do know that coordinating third party vendors is an expense. Are you charging for it? Um, so I think one of the bigger challenges a lot of the times is we're not going to make any money on maintenance. We're merely going to put no cost resources at this problem. And our job is to reduce it as little as possible by adding a surcharge or adding a revenue stream to the maintenance coordination of even managing third party vendors allows you to apply those resources there. And if you don't, there's some pretty negative byproducts. So that's one. The second one, and we've seen this backed in data, uh, if you're able to ultimately bring, out, uh, bring in in-house technicians and get some meaningful throughput, you can actually offer services at a lower cost compared to the third party market and generate pretty solid returns. And so not only is that a big advantage for your investor, but it's a big advantage to your company that there's certain types of repairs, certain jobs that you can do that you can ultimately in-house it, generate profit and deliver at a lower cost than just streaming it out to a third party market. And the reason for that is because those resources can be applied to those repairs consistently, effectively, you're managing it, you're able to get the throughput you needed. And the more throughput you get is the more efficient that resource is. And you can feasibly pass on those savings to the investor while still making a profit.